embracing the strange today's illusion is called in the moment now and forever down on its forearms the figure has pulled its legs up forming a propeller like motion yet the figure appears still one leg is poised midair overhanging the body whilst the other has over rotated threading into the gaping torso almost expanding the void to accommodate it and hold the body's momentum the movement of the legs pulls the onlooker in and despite the motion it conveys slows the painting calling time to reflect in the absence of the head the body has surrendered itself as the hands clutch the foreground of the painting enduring i love this sketch because it's intricate elegant and a bit circus i tweaked the back leg when i sketched it because i was undecided about where to put it in accordance to the body on top or behind it you'll see i chose behind it and once upon a time I read a book relating to the circus, and it was incredibly underwhelming in all ways, and I didn't finish it. I don't even remember what it was called to hate it properly. However, in making this painting, I am enchanted anew with the circus. Exploitation aside, it's the embracing the strange on one's own terms, and it feels to me very pastel goth, like Dumbo, but not Dumbo. Maybe Alice in Wonderland? Also, Bob's Burgers, specifically the episode with Edith Cranwrinkle. She's my favorite sub-character. Louise is my favorite main character. There's that episode with the quilt where she wants her quilting square to include the freaks of the circus. But Officer Bosco's crotchety mom says no, so she uses Bob as her getaway driver and, you know, holds him hostage, lying to him about having fits. The song's Red Lights and Some Like It Hot by Neon Hitch come to mind. Some Like It Hot specifically has the lines, I can only see white lights when I'm with you. Upside Down by Paloma Faith comes to mind as well, and a bit of Do You Want the Truth or Something Beautiful. But not because I think of the question, rather I think that I captured both the truth and beauty without deception, which is the age-old challenge, isn't it? So then when I think about it that way, it becomes the song Love Me As I Am because that specifically has the lines I can't apologize for being who I am I've done my reconciling I'm over compromising I need you to see this my way and love me as I am so if you take any of the way for this video it is art truly art and art goes on so I will in my next video thank you for watching